well, you you see magis, I think, when when you notice them doing more, and that that happens when things like they're all they're not content just with their major. They take minors, they get into student activities, and you sense it's not just because for their own personal fulfillment. You sense it's, it's partly because they want to do other things, but at the same time they want to really go to their fullest potential. I have like a story for example, yeah. things like, little things like when uh, when they do group work and they're, they're anxious because some group mates are not performing as well, they would respond by saying, I'll help out my group mates, I'll, I'll, I'll cover for him, but at the same time I want to be able to teach him to do things uh, properly and, and, and such. Uh, I see it in our athletes who not just Play, walk, play hard and play fair, but study hard also. I see these students who like always get into all the different orgs, uh, get into our communities, come back even where, when they're not uh, members of the orgs or when they're not inside a requirement anymore, go back to the community still. Yes, because in, in fact it's almost like their, their way of life almost. Uh, they, 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 they stay up late and they chat with their friends, they, they work. They cooperate and, and they see this as a part of their life here in the other day. With the staff and faculty, you see it when uh, I see it most when it's like outside of what you usually do. Like, you know, in the Loyola schools, you have like you have scientists, you have people in the humanities, but at the same time, they're called to do other things. They're asked to be in administration. They're asked to work in committees. They. They rarely do they grudgingly take it. They, they volunteer. They say, "Sure, I want to be part of it." You see it sometimes in 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 faculty. You say, "No, that's not for me. I'm not very good at that." And then they're the ones who do very well. They're the ones who, who participate. They they discover themselves being able to participate. Like their little things, their their talents in marketing, their talents in being able to. Uh, work out spreadsheets and manipulate data and, and then th that's how they contribute. I see magic there. Well, if it's me, I guess my main reflection would be magic for me is discovering my own talents, my own gifts. I mean, I, I, part of my answer to that question is because I, I started off as a geek. I mean, I'm, like a, I'm a math person, I'm a computer scientist, a programmer. I, then I find out I could teach. You teach and, and and it works well. You not only does it fulfill what you're interested in, but you end up fulfilling a role, a mission. Then you find that later you could be a mentor to your to your fellow faculty members, to your students. Then you find out later you could be an administrator. You never wanted to be one when 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 you're in your career. So I guess I view magic as like managing your evolving gift, your own. Your, your talents and you do this for God's greater glory.